All right, one of the cool features about this machine is we can actually run pulse on stick. So we can run from 0.4 all the way up to five on the frequency. I'm gonna just start at the lowest right now and run a couple passes like that. I'm gonna keep my amperage about the same and just go ahead and drag the rod across the base metal. Uh, this was about the frequency of five pulses per second, and you can see a really tight ripple pattern in here. This was on the lowest setting of 0.4 pulses per second. Kind of looks like that stack of dimes look. And then this was about one and a half, so a little bit more distance between each ripple. Uh, one thing that I can say about this uh, HTP 7018 is the puddle is very defined. It's clear that the slag actually chips uh, right off, no problem, and it cleans up really well. So it's a great uh, F4 7018 rod to, to use. So today we ran some stick uh, welding with the HTP InverArt 200 TLP. Ran both the HTP 7018 332nd rod and the HTP 6010 eighth inch rod. Uh, really just an impressive machine. It's got a couple different settings on here, so we have a smoother, softer arc setting for your 78Ts, uh, cellulosic setting for 6010s and 11s, and uh, I was able to mess around a little bit with the even pulse on stick, which is kind of crazy to believe that you can pulse on stick. And, uh, you know, here's the, uh, the proof is in the pudding that literally you can see the ripple pattern here where they're about an eighth inch apart. That's a little bit more, it looks like, almost like a stack of dimes and then a really tight ripple. And that's all on pulse stick. So uh, quite an impressive machine and uh, great filler rods to use as well.